bug bug your mind bug bug your mind bug your mind bug 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 your mind bug your mind bug bug your mind bug your mind nityanand guys come back my love and respects and the blessings of my guru his divine holiness bhagwan shri nityanand parmashiva bugging your mind is the purpose it's all about bugging your mind why because like i shared in previous videos uh, last two videos when we are raised, unfortunately, because we are not raised in Gurukuls, we are not raised with the right cognition, which is Paramashivoham, that I am in oneness with Paramashiva, I am Paramashiva. Uh, and even the cognition of Swamasmi, that even when I worship Paramashiva, I know that I am Him. So these powerful cognitions, we should be brought up with them. If we are not, that's very unfortunate, but now we, can, now we have access to them through Swamiji, so, uh, so now we should start, you know, working towards that. Because we were not raised with these cognitions, the mind we have created for ourselves is incomplete and cannot understand Paramashivoham. So it is normal that when you listen to Hindu scriptures or Hindu gurus and Swamiji, obviously because he is revealing the Hindu scriptures in a very, very authentic way, you do not grasp it. And you're not expected to grasp it right away because your mind can't. Yeah, I mean, your mind was not created to grasp such things. So the first process is to dismantle the mind. And how do we dismantle the mind? By seeking or having prayerfulness. You know, seeking the blessings of Paramashiva, of Guru, so that the knowledge blossoms within ourselves, within our being, so that enlightenment happens or seeking into uh, powerful spiritual truth and looking towards, you know, finding more, looking deeper and deeper and further and further into it until, we, until it blossoms within us. So, um, so it's, that's the purpose. So we shouldn't feel powerless. I see sometimes videos, I see some people who abuse Swamiji and they abuse Swamiji just because they, they basically say, he's talking nonsense and that's why that is the right way, that is the justification I have to abuse Swamiji. But that is completely uh, silliness because uh, because you don't you're, you don't understand. You cannot discard. That is not scientific. If you don't understand, you look into it. But the problem is people are not interested. They're interested to watch the video, but they're not interested to seek. So that's a big problem. So when you're interested to watch the video, but not interested to seek and, and internalize and chew on the content which is shared, then you give up on yourself and you just abuse. But that's not right. We have to seek. Seeking is the dimension of us and we have to explore it. We cannot afford to be mentally lazy or intellectually lazy because we don't want to seek into things that are, is beyond our mind. Because your mind is not able to grasp what is going on, that does not mean that what is going on is not real. Your mind is not ultimate. It is not. And that is why we have Sanatana Hindu Dharma, to make you realize your mind is not ultimate. So remember that, have patience and love towards yourself, intense seeking towards what Swamiji is sharing in the daily satsangs, so inviting you at the same time to check the satsangs, nityanda.tv or YouTube channel or Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, everywhere. Paramashiva is all pervasive, it's everywhere. <laughs> so listen to the satsangs, or even the videos I share and start to contemplate on these things that I'm talking about, the cognitions I'm having while listening to the truth that Swamiji is sharing in the satsangs or the scriptures and have patience with yourself and love and just keep looking into it because you don't have the answer right away. It doesn't mean you have to throw everything in the fire and no, okay, you know, we keep looking. You know, when you sleep, you continue to seek. Before sleeping, you say, okay, let this knowledge be revealed to me in my sleep. When you do puja, you say, okay, let this knowledge be revealed to me by Guru's grace, Paramashiva's grace. When you do yoga, okay, let my body be detox, detoxed so that these uh, truths be revealed to me. When you eat vegetarian lifestyle as paragama, okay, let the body be detoxed. So that understand? Constantly seek to get it in everything you do. That's very important. And that is the source of nonviolence. If you do not keep your seeking and your prayerfulness alive, you give up on yourself. If you give up on yourself, you will be violent. There is no other way. 
because the mind is not established in the space of Paramashivoham. It does not cognize oneness, it cognizes duality, and the moment you cognize duality, you become violent. So with this, I'm thanking you all. Short video. Uh, yes, quick, crisp, cognitive sharing, cog 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 cognition sharing about things. Uh, and it's very important. So don't abuse, uh, don't, don't be too fast. Give yourself space, time, patience, love, and just seek, seek, seek. Have prayerfulness, prayerfulness, prayerfulness. And Paramashiva will grace. Swamiji will grace. Nityananda. She will.